Ah, the drive-in movie theater. It was the place where you and your date could... Hey now, didn't we use that music last week? As I was saying before Danny and Sandy interrupted, the drive-in was the place to catch your favorite movie. And it didn't cost you an arm and a leg. Even the food... Hot dogs with your favorite trimming for men and boys, girls and women. Dress them up to suit your taste. They're good. So good. Yeah, the food was cheap, if not a bit cheesy. That was the case at the Lafayette Road Outdoor Theater between Lafayette and Georgetown Roads at 38th Street. As WRTV's Phil Ponce found out, a whole lot had changed for the theater and the place where it was built in the three decades it was open. When it opened its gates in 1953, there wasn't much else around here. But now these 17 acres have become valuable for their commercial potential, and the land here will become a shopping area. Some of the patrons told me how they felt about it. Well, it all depends on how uh, they do business-wise. Mm -hmm. If they make money with it, they should keep it open, but if they don't, put the land to better use. I think it ought to stay open. And it's one of the few that are really close around here that, you know, if you live around this area that you can go to. Other ones like Claremont and Westlake, you've you got to go kind of far for us. So you think it's kind of sad that they're closing this place up? Yeah, I think they ought to keep it open for the people that live around here. It's, I've been here a few times, and I've liked it. I don't see what anything's wrong with it. The last movie shown at the Lafayette Road drive-in was, hold on, really? The last movie at a drive-in theater just happened to be something called Going All the Way? Oh, stop that. The demolition equipment came calling almost 40 years ago to this day. The Northwest Marketplace Shopping Center was later built on the land. It's still there today with some fine international grocery stores and restaurants and other shops. But alas, no more movies. With Throwback Thursday, Ray Steele, WRTV.